Hey everyone, it's Mike with Confused IT. I just got this uh, warning flag on one of my VMs that says that there's an update for VMware tools, so I figured maybe it's a good time to go over some of the different ways that you could update VMware tools on your uh, VM. So this is a pretty straightforward process. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, if you're on the host level, which, uh, oh good, it's on this host. So if you're on this, you know, on the right host, you can right click and go over to, a minute, it wants to load, guest OS, and you can go to upgrade VMware tools. Uh, when you do that, really nothing shows up. Um, it'll just start doing it in the background and it'll show up under the recent tasks um, section down here. This is a, an older host on running uh, VMware 6.5. So 6.7 um, and 6.7 looks the same, but 7.0 might look very different. I mean, that's more more familiar to uh, or more similar to the vCenter, which I'll go over now. So that one is one way, the vCenter way. Um, right click, very same, you know, very straightforward. Guest OS, upgrade VMware tools. This one gives you a choice um, where you can do an interactive upgrade or an automatic upgrade. Uh, the interactive upgrade basically just mounts a CD drive to it with the, uh, you know, with the installer on it. So you just log into the OS, double click it, and run the installer. And it'll, I think, it gives you some prompts where you can choose some different features to enable or disable. But uh, you know, pretty straightforward. Also, at the end, it'll ask for a reboot. Generally, um, automatic upgrade is basically the same thing. It mounts a disk, it runs it, I guess, automatically, and then it reboots when it's done. Um, both pretty easy, uh, not too complicated. However, if you have uh, a lot of VMs, um, which I have a couple, <laughs> uh, there is an easier way, and you, and you have vCenter. If you have a bunch of VMs and you have vCenter, it's a little bit easier of a way, um, which is generally how I set it up and kind of set it and forget it. So um, if you go under really the cluster, I think you can do it from any level, actually. If you go like into the VM and you go to updates, yeah, so there is an option here to turn auto update um, or auto upgrade on a reboot on or off VMware tools. If you go up to the cluster level, you can set it for everything in that cluster by going to updates and VMware tools. Um, and then from same thing, data center level, or all the, the entire vCenter. So <clears throat> from the entire vCenter, I'll do it from here. Um, you click on the VMware tools area, the cluster. I'm going to hit check status. And this is going to go through and just make sure where everybody's at. And so uh, just that one VM needs to be updated. And it's, of course, the only VM that I created recently that doesn't have it turned on already. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on. And OK. So what this does basically is instead of having to manually go through and click those upgrade buttons or you know either through the host or through the through uh, vCenter by right clicking and going to guest OS and doing it on a uh, VM by VM basis um, I can just turn this on across all my VMs and then every time I reboot if there is a uh, VMware tools update it'll automatically apply that update so now that we have this turned on just as an example uh, where'd that VM go? There it is. Okay so it's on Upgrades available. If I go back to there, it is. Back to the summary. I'm just going to go ahead and reboot this VM. And just for note, we're running 11329. I think the newest version is 30. 360. 11360. While this is loading, I'll mention the, I guess the fourth way that you could update VMware tools is you can go to VMware's website and download the uh, installer and copy it to the VM and then run the installer. That is my least favorite way. And even the VMware website, I find it be a little bit complicated on finding the right version. So um, definitely easier to go through the host, even if you do have to do the right click in the upgrade or going through, again, vCenter, doing the right click in the upgrade. Um, so you can see here just, uh, you know, now that it says upgrade in progress. So all we did is turn on auto updates and reboot the VM, um, the upgrades in progress. 
we should see it down here. Uh, generally, you could see it in the, in the action, uh, recent tasks section, but let's give it a second. So those are really the, 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 the four ways that I know of on how to do this is, is from getting the installer directly from VMware's website, doing it through ESXi by right clicking and doing the uh, guest OS and upgrade, um, going through the vCenter by right clicking and doing guest OS and upgrade, um, or the way that like I, said, I like, which is where you turn an auto update on your VMs. And then every time you reboot, you just get the latest version. You don't have to think about it. Unless, of course, you make a VM and then forget to turn on auto update like I did in this case, and uh, it doesn't get updated. So. I'm just going to pause this and I'll resume once it uh, finishes. I don't know how long it takes. Usually, um, it's not very long, maybe like five minutes or so. I, I think it just started saying installation in progress. And um, yep, now it shows as 11.360, which is the latest version. So give it a refresh here. Yeah, now we're on the latest version. And it does give a prompt. Um, Setup needs to reboot to reboot the system in order to complete the install. You're going to reboot now. It will reboot really shortly unless you re rebooted shortly unless you canceled. Okay. So yeah, there's an auto reboot in there as well. Um, I guess if you reboot and then it turns back on and then it reboots again, it could be a little unexpected. But generally, I find this feature to be really helpful um, to having to uh, keep track of it. And the other good thing is it only initiates. Um, the auto upgrade or update when you initiate a reboot. So uh, it's not like it, at least in, in my experience, it doesn't take it down in production to do the update. It's like more of a, um, again, if you have a reboot scheduled, whether it be through your RMM or through a backup scheduled task or something like that, um, you know, it'll trigger the reboot. So rebooting twice usually isn't the end of the world, especially if you're the one that initiated it. Um, yeah, now we're on the latest version. So. Um, hopefully uh, this helped you or showed you something new that you didn't know and I will uh, see you in the next one thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe our website has some resources that you might find useful as well confused IT is a non-for-profit organization ran by IT professionals our mission is to make IT knowledge more accessible and easier to digest thanks for watching